ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಐ ನೇಮ್ ಶುಭಶ್ರೀ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೋಮ್ ಆ್ಯಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಶೋ ಯು ಹೌ ಟು ಎನೇಬಲ್ ಕಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಶೇರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪವರ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲಾಗ್ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಕೋಡಿಗೋಮ್ ನವಿನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಗ್ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ here all the steps i'm going to demonstrate are written over here you can click on this link so first of all you can read this article but uh, i just want to show you if you go to your sharepoint site i'm having a test sharepoint site over here comapsandsharepoint.com the problem for which we are going to find the solution was we see the problem the problem is uh, this is a sharepoint modern site i'm going to site contents from there i'm going to site settings here if you see this web designer galleries you won't see the full structure of web web designer galleries over here like uh, if you uh, go to any classic sharepoint site you'll see uh, solutions and uh, other options under web designer galleries but as it is a modern site you won't see all the options over here so if you want to enable custom script on your modern sharepoint site how you are going to do this so we will see how to solve this problem first of all you need to have access of your sharepoint admin center for this if you don't know the url of your sharepoint admin center then there is a simple process of finding that see copy your sharepoint site url from here go to notepad paste it and after just after your domain name just write hyphen admin so this is your admin center url so you need to copy and paste it on another browser uh, tab structure if you are seeing this structure all your active sites over here so that means you are having admin center access so only if you have admin center access then only you can perform the steps i am going to show you so now we jump into how to enable custom script on your modern sharepoint site to see all the options for web designer galleries okay using powershell script of i l open the powershell i i i s e option from here okay so if you are like using your powershell i c for the first time so you need to run this line of code first to set execution policy set execution policy execution policy unrestricted run this enter yes to all so you can see you cannot run this using your normal account so you need to run your windows powershell ic using administrator so how to do this so i am again going to windows powershell ic right clicking on it and i'm clicking on run as administrator so i'm right now just pasting the set execution policy order and clicking on enter clicking on yes to all so see without any error it has been executed after this 
and if you're running any SharePoint uh, PowerShell related command uh, in your computer for the first time, you need to install this Microsoft uh, online SharePoint PowerShell module. So copy this line from here and paste it over here and click enter. So it is processing. Click on yes. Again, yes to all. So it's just installing in the background. Yes, you can see on the screen. So yes, now it has the module has been installed successfully. Now we need to connect to our SPO service from here. So before this, uh, before running this command, okay, we need to provide our credentials. So what we are doing, what we need to do here is copy this, go to your PowerShell, and uh, run this command get credential and uh, what this line is doing we are this get credential whatever will be executed we are saving it in a dollar cred variable so just enter and paste provide your username and password okay now my uh, password and username has been saved in dollar cred variable okay now what we need to do going to my blog again now we need to run this command so uh, basically this command connect hyphen spo service uh, is uh, is asking for accessing the admin center sharepoint admin center using your credential so here instead of this we need to provide the admin center url which we have copy it over here let's copy it further and paste it over here so oh. connect spo service https core maps and hyphen admin dot sharepoint dot com which is the admin center of my sharepoint site and uh, i'm passing the credential dollar cred which i have stored previously here in this line okay. just running it so see without any error it has been executed now the final step is we need to enable the custom powershell script i'm copying this site url from here it can be any other sharepoint site you want under this site admin center okay going here and pasting this site url here I'm clicking on enter so see it has been successfully executed now go to your SharePoint site right now you can right now under web calories you can see only only these two options now if I refresh see you can see all the options here solutions you can see you can uh, upload your custom solutions uh, for your modern uh, sharepoint site over here you can see a list template and other options or you can post look other options here also so this is how you enable and uh, allow custom scripts using powershell in your sharepoint modern site thank you for watching